Hello and welcome back. And I've missed you all on these podcasts. And I have a very heartwarming story for you here. So this is a heartwarming one, courtesy of BuzzFeed News. And of course, as I go into this article, I will be keeping mindful of the guidelines on YouTube on covering stories with sensitive topics. So um, excuse me if I have to word differently some of the matters spoken of on this article. So bear with me on that. Of course, prayers for uh, the families that were affected by the situation in Uvalde, and I will just be referring to it as the situation in Texas. So kindly keep that in mind as we are very, very carefully going into this topic. So courtesy of BuzzFeed News, and of course, we have this update that Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, on Thursday visited Uvalde, Texas, where she donated food at a community center hosting a blood drive and also laid flowers at a memorial. BuzzFeed News spoke with the volunteers at the Herbie Ham Activity Center who accepted the Duchess's donations. Photographers captured images of Megan at the memorial site. According to Blood Drive volunteers, Megan, wearing a baseball cap and a black mask, quietly dropped by the community center's kitchen to drop off two large bags filled with sandwiches, beverages, and desserts for the blood donors. I had no idea who she was. She was just carrying on a conversation like her and I knew each other for years, volunteer Gloria Contreras told BuzzFeed News. We were just talking about, you know, the situation and what happened and what we were doing here. And I told her about us giving out water to the people and feeding them. I even talked about my personal life, telling her about my son and my family and, you know, coming to Texas because she told me she was from Santa Barbara and I said, well, you need to come to Texas, Contreras said. She also went on to say that we were talking about Texas and Uvalde and how it is to be in a small town and how everybody is so kind and warm-hearted and we know each other and stuff and how the faith is deep-rooted, end quote. A Sussex representative confirmed to BuzzFeed News that the Duchess traveled to Uvalde in, quote, a personal capacity as a mother in order to offer her condolences and support in person to a community experiencing unimaginable grief, unquote. Another volunteer called Burnell said she was just very sweet. She just kind of walked in with her crew and started putting ice waters in the buckets with us and laying out chips for the people who were needing snacks before and after donating. It's funny, we didn't even know it was her until she left and now we're so sad, he said. I mean, to be honest, we thought she was our neighbor. <laughs> so there we have it. It's a very short article, but I wanted to share this with you. Of course, the story has been in the news and it has been in so many of our prayers what happened, the situation there. And this is Duchess Megan. This is nothing new for her. I think many of us know that she has always um, lent her voice where she sees a situation. And if she can go and personally, you know, be there and help out, she always is, has been about that. And she did say she is more about, you know, getting on the ground and getting things done. She's always been about offering tangible support where she can and using her platform as much as she can. And she's a mother, very compassionate woman. And you can see in these images, she's really um, taking a lot of time to pay her, her respects and reflecting on this moment and not making it, you know, anything that is about uh, politics or anything that could be polarizing. She's just there, as she said, in the capacity of being a mom. And of course, it's wonderful that she was able to supply those products to those who are donating blood as well. So that is Duchess Megan. I'm so, so um, touched by the story. And of course, it's an, such a, a testament to the community that is there as well in Texas, them coming together. And of course, once again, our prayers are being offered up for this community. And let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. I love the fact, by the way, that she's just so low key dressed down and they say that they were sad because in all their interactions with the Duchess, you know, she had no errors about her. It's only after she left that they actually came to understand who she was. So that's just so, so sweet. Um, it's wonderful. And once again, share your thoughts below. 
Before we log off, a special thank you to all of those who like, comment and share and to all the new subscribers to this channel. Of course, I've been covering the Johnny and Amber um, updates from time to time and I've been very interested in that case personally uh, as I've been following it for a couple of years. So I know a lot of you've been seeing a lot of these updates coming. Um, so that's just an aside. And I'm happy for those of you chosen to subscribe because of that content. Welcome to the channel as well. I do give podcasts here from time to time also. So once again, leave your thoughts. A special thank you to those who support this channel, to my Patreon, PayPal, and membership supporters. I want to say a special thank you right now. And I want to highlight three supporters of this channel. I want to say thank you to you, Noreen Bengali. Thank you to you, Anna Thorne for supporting this channel as well as Betty Wright. Thank you for your love and your support for these videos and the comment of the day goes to goes to Lydia Washington who on the video where we saw Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry at the polo game and she said she looks gorgeous of course speaking of Meghan and she says happy to see them so in love and free. And I absolutely agree with you, Lydia. Duchess Meghan does look absolutely gorgeous. I loved her, you know, glamorous, timeless fashion. She just, she looked so amazing in that look. And our next comment right here is from, from Valerie Sedeno, who writes and says, concerning the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's four years anniversary, she says, God's blessings to the Sussexes. I wish you love and happiness and a lifelong marriage. Amen. Thank you for those beautiful wishes, Valerie. On the Johnny and Amber uh, coverage, we have a comment here from Helene Groen. Of course, I have to once again be mindful of YouTube's guidelines on certain words, but this is her comment. Team Johnny here. I'm glued to this trial and I believe that he is the victim of can see it there so thank you for sharing your strong thoughts helene we are praying for justice we have one more comment here from eldridge who supports his channel through paypal and writes and says once again of the four-year anniversary of the duke and duchess of sussex he says congratulations to this beautiful couple who are changing the world for the better happy anniversary harry and megan thank you for sharing that with us eldridge and for your love and support for this channel i want to say thank you once again, thank you to all who support this channel. You are always in my heart and in my prayers, and I love you so much. Thank you once again for all your comments, for those who support this channel. And if you'd like your comment to be featured, be sure to check out this channel and support on Patreon, PayPal, or membership. And your comment could be the comment of the day. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Leave your thoughts about this beautiful update below. And of course, let's keep it uplifting. Um, I want to know your thoughts. Have a blessed day and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.